the brains, the mastermind, the evil genius behind Pavex <laughs> with us here today, Jessica Lombardo. How are you today? I am well. That was a very exciting introduction. I don't know if I'll live up to that. <laughs> when one creates an exciting event for the first time, one deserves an exciting introduction, Jessica. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, we really appreciate it. I can't wait for more people, more people to know about this show. I feel like at this point, everyone should know about this show because it's going to be amazing. So I don't even know where to start. Let me start with this. On a scale of one to 10, like how busy are you these days? <laughs> 28. No. <laughs> 28. Yeah. No, Payvex is uh, definitely keeping me busy. Um, we are gearing up very heavily for the show. We just had our demo preview day last week in San Antonio. We had all of our demoing companies down there to look at the demo lot and make sure you know, we had enough room and really get the lot laid out so that we had, you know, the bleachers in the right place and um, the demo lanes going the right way. And, you know, you know, the jumbotron is going to be in the right place and the beer gardens in the right place. So we really want to thank our demoing partners for taking the time out to come down there and, and look at that lot and really partner with us in in that way to make sure we're going to be bringing those, you know, nine hours of equipment demos to the people who are coming to Pavex and really making sure we're going to get it right and get it awesome. And I, like, I was nervous about it before, but now I'm just excited. It's going to be great. It's going to be epic. That's amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of logistics here because what you guys are doing, this isn't just like show up and check out some shiny stuff on a floor. Like, no. <laughs> how is this going to work exactly? Yes. So um, we do have a trade show floor and we do have 60 hours of education, which I'm sure we're going to dive into. But in the afternoons, the Tuesday and Wednesday of the trade show, we are going to bring everybody out to a live equipment demonstration. And we're actually going to be doing some steel coating and some crack filling and some pavement maintenance out on the lot, which is really exciting. But we're also going to be paving with wrap material. So not actually putting um, hot mix asphalt down, but we're going to be putting some material through a paver and we're going to be putting rollers on it. So manufacturers like Bomeg, Dynapack, Lee Boy, uh, Work in America, they're going to be bringing all of their equipment out there and showcasing their latest innovations. So Dynapack is going to have their cart path paver, which is remote operated. So they're going to be running that around the lot so people can see how that works. And they're going to have their electric machine against their, you know, diesel roller so people can see the differences there. You know, Libre is also going to have their electric paver out there so people can see how that machine operates. So really giving people who come to Pavex a good idea of how the equipment operates and then giving people time to go ask those equipment manufacturers questions about the machines because we know how important that is to the buying decision. So that's what we're bringing to attendees of Pavex, which is different than any other show out there and, and why we know Pavex is going to be such an amazing success. Yeah. I was just, did I read it or was I listening? I think, I think I was listening to you somewhere recently where you said, like of all the vendor spots, they're basically gone, right? Like, like we show sold floor. out. Show floor is sold out. Yep. How do you do that the first year? <laughs> like for real, Jessica. Like, I don't, I don't know conferences and shows. I was telling you this before. It's not my thing. Like, I don't know how it all works, but I can imagine it's not the easiest thing to get people in year one to get in at the beginning. Like, how did you pull it off? I think it's a true testament to my time in the industry and the time of my co-founder of the show, Amy Schwant. We have over 30 years of combined experience in the industry. You know, I was on the magazine and she's been involved for so long in the industry as well and just cultivating those relationships and knowing what the industry has been asking for and just being willing to build it. And, and being willing to work hard to get there. And I think that the past year we have really done that and, and we're continuing to bring everything that people have asked for to life in San Antonio and, and we're going to continue to work towards that. And so I think when we announced that Payvex was coming, people were just like, you know what, we trust Amy and Jess and we trust their experience and we trust their work ethic. 
and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna go with Payback Year One, and we couldn't be more thankful for that, and couldn't be more excited. Amazing. Well, I can't <laughs> be there myself. It's gonna be great. It's crazy. <laughs> so, can I wind back the clock a little bit? Sure. So, let me just say this to start. So, I I've only been involved, you know, primarily in the pavement marking industry. We're we're diversifying now, but I've only been in there for six years. So, I feel like I'm. I'm I'm one of the newer guys. So I don't know what it was like, you know, even 10, 15, 20 years ago. But I know, you know, partly because of where I am geographically, I'm kind of northern northwest Canada. So we're we're not exactly close <laughs> to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But I had basically like zero experience with all of the content work that you have been a part of for the last like, like you said, like 10 years. So starting out for you how did this all start how did you get involved with the content side ac business media all this stuff yeah it really happened uh, by accident (laughs) so i have a degree in journalism and i was a copywriter for a website and really wanted to get more involved in in actual journalism and using my degree as uh, to do some editorial work and a job came up that was like, oh, you can be an editor of uh, Asphalt Contractor and Pavement Maintenance Magazine. And I was like, I don't even know what that means, but sure, I'm going to apply. And, um, you know, I'd written about, you know, construction equipment in the past. And I was like, sure, I can write about that. i would figure it out. And I really found a home very quickly with um, the people in this industry who were so willing to invite me out on job sites and really help me get to know the equipment and the processes and the applications and the sweeping and the striping and the seal coating and the paving and sure, hop on this roller and hop on this, hop on the back of a paver and we'll show you how the screed works. And I don't think that most industries would have been as welcoming um, to somebody who knew nothing. I didn't even know the difference between asphalt and concrete. I had was absolutely clueless, but I think going into it and just being willing to learn and just telling people exactly that, like, I don't know anything, help me learn, was what really set me apart in this industry. And um, I have formed some of the absolute best friendships (laughs) over the years. These 10 years have just been so valuable to me and and growing and cultivating the relationships and you know fast forward those relationships have helped me grow into the content marketing role where i can take the relationships i've cultivated with the contractors and help our manufacturer partners develop content around what the contractors need so you know if they're looking for help buying a, a new paver, I can help craft that messaging for some of our manufacturer partners. And now in this conference manager role, I really know the educational gaps that I see when I'm talking to contractors and, and you know, developing the Ignite program for the business owners, you know, what keeps them up at night. So I, I could not be more fortunate with all of these things that I've learned over the years, having it come to this culmination of my career to be able to take all of that and apply it for Ignite and for Pavex and really put something together that I think is incredibly valuable to the industry. Super cool. What are some of those gaps? You said like there's gaps in in uh, the contractor knowledge, basically. What do you see as the biggest gaps? I think for, you know, especially for business owners, I think that they're so um, excited to get out there and to do the work that some of the back end stuff falls behind, you know, putting together the the bookkeeping and some of the, you know, development in their um their crews. So, you know, the business management track at Pavex is is very well stacked. So, you know, you're going to, you know, have some courses on safety and courses on professional development for your crew, um hiring and retention, things like that. Those are things that I think kind of fall to the wayside when you're building your business because you're so focused on, um, you know, profits and profitability and and getting your equipment and and getting that next job that you might not think of, um, you know, your crew and and what the next thing looks like for them. But I think that 
in order to grow your business, you also have to be looking at what it looks like to grow your entire company, not just your services, but your people too. So um, I definitely feel like people need to take a more holistic approach to their business and Pavex is really helping business owners take that look. That's interesting because um, like you're basically, you're describing leadership is what I hear. Like how do you effectively lead a team of people and, and work on all that backend stuff to actually grow the business. So, but you're specifically applying that for this industry which is really cool. So is that why you, you mentioned Ignite, which I'm really glad you did because I will be at that event as well. Yeah. I'm very excited about. So <laughs> tell me about the history of Ignite because there is a difference between Ignite and, and Pavex. Like what, what are those differences and what, what do people need to know there? Yep. So Ignite is specifically tailored towards business owners. So I know I mentioned we'll bring some of that business management focus to Pavex. Um, but Ignite is for those business owners, and that's going to be a two and a half day business management focused conference event in Clearwater, Florida, December 6th through the 8th. And we have an opening keynote and panel discussions about things like, you know, what does the future look like? Succession planning, marketing, sales training, culture, things like that. The Those really key topics that keep business owners up at night. Um and conversely, where Payvex, you're going to bring your whole crew. So yes, we have business management focus as one of the tracks, but we also have those really technical topics. So you're, as a business owner, will go to Ignite, but you're going to bring your whole crew to Payvex. They're going to go to sessions on, you know, paving 101, um, best practices for seal coating and striping, um, panel discussions on what do you need to know about owning a mill. So um we think that business managers will also get a lot out of Pavex, but if you're really looking for holistic business growth um, and to network and to find your niche, that's where Ignite will come in for you. So both events are wonderful. We love both. Um, Ignite is only a three-year-old event. Um, this is really the the second year that it's come out of its shell after COVID. We're already crushing um attendance records for it after year two so we're we're super excited about that event that's awesome what do you see um i guess i'll I'll preface the question with this like investing investing in education has been everything for me like there's no way i like i just didn't know how to run a seven figure business without having people along the way to help basically. Yeah. Do you, do you still feel like, do you feel like there's enough education information available to specifically people who are trying to start paving companies, trying to start asphalt maintenance companies, striping companies is, do you think there's enough help available there? I think that if you want to find out just enough to get by, you absolutely could Google it, YouTube it and figure it out. Um, but if you want to do it the right way and do it the reputable way and do it in a way that you're going to grow and excel and be profitable, you need to attend industry events and not just for the education, but for the networking, for the conversations that you'll have outside the classroom with people who have been there and done that and who have been in your shoes and can help you, not just the three days that you're at the event, but who you can call when you're in a situation that you've never been in before, who are willing to pick up that phone for you, because that's just the type of people this industry has. That's where these events are invaluable. Um, and, and you're not just going to hear that from me. You're going to hear that from every single person who ever goes to one of these events that it's not the education that you pay for. It's the relationships that you make that are going to just be incredibly valuable to you for the rest of your career in the industry. Totally. So I asked you at the start how difficult this was, but like, (laughs) like, how much work is this, Jessica? Like, how big is the team of people making all this stuff happen? We are small and mighty uh, at AC Business Media, and the the team that's um, putting bringing Payvex together is amazing. We are bringing a big lift together. 
and doing it as as fast as we can and making sure nothing is falling through the cracks. But it is a lot more work than I think anybody could have ever imagined. Just because we don't want anything to fall through the cracks. We want to bring an incredible experience to the market. Um, and, you know, we're we're doing it. And we all still have, you know, the rest of our jobs we have to do. We still have our content marketing. You know, Amy's still the chief revenue officer of our company. Um, and Pavex is just our full-time job too. So, <laughs> so I think that... Um, we definitely have some things that we'll have to go into the 2025 event, knowing after we bring this to life, knowing that we'll need some more resources to to make sure that we can continue to to grow and to to keep this thing kind of progressing as as best that we can. But you know, we are so excited. We just cannot wait for you guys to see everything that we've built and put all of our years of experience to work growing for you guys we're so excited i'm stinking excited i'm very excited so truthfully like because i'm newer to the industry and because i'm in the middle of nowhere like getting to these events isn't easy right like yeah. escaping canada to get into the states takes <laughs> so um my intention was to go to a big event just right before covid broke out or after covid broke out i should say so because of that i didn't get to go to it so i've only been to one of these kinds of events and um the one thing that I struck out to uh, stuck out to me the most being at that event was, um, the quality of the speakers. Like you get people who, who come to speak at these, you know, an, an asphalt event like Payvex who aren't directly involved in, in paving. They don't know how to run a paver, but some of the, some of the information that I got from there was just incredible. What, who, I'm not going to ask you for like your favorites, but like, who are you, who are you most excited about to, to, to come speak at uh, I'm thinking mostly the Payback event in particular because I know there's going to be a lot of education there. Um, what, yeah, who are some of the the heavy hitters you guys have coming? Yeah, so we'll have you know industry veterans like Brad, um, Brad Humphrey, Guy Gruenberg. We'll have John Ball. We'll have um, retired Asphalt Institute engineer Wayne Jones, who's always brought just invaluable education to the industry. Um, we'll have some new faces who are just really making names for themselves. You're going to be speaking there. We'll have uh, Moro Kamuzi with the Paving Lady. Kenny Roy is going to be speaking. Um, man, I just we're going to have a TEDx speaker there, Susan Fru. She has going to be speaking on Rockstar Recruiting for the Next Generation. Um, I just can't get over how many wonderful speakers I mean 60 hours of education at Pavex it's it's crazy putting all of this together and just the industry knowledge and the willingness of these speakers to come and to speak for the industry just because they know how important it is to kind of pay it forward because they've been there they've been where newer contractors are and know how it is to feel lost in their business I just, and like you said, some of them aren't even in the business, but some of them are, and some of them know why education is so important to the industry and to keep us all moving forward together and doing the job the right way, the way it needs to be done. Cool. Cool. What's been the biggest challenge so far getting all this together? <laughs> I think that, um, a big sigh as you think about that, there's a lot of weight on those shoulders, Jessica. <laughs> Um, logistically planning, a planning a show has a lot of challenges with, with dates and times and things like that. So finding the initial location for Pavex, uh, in San Antonio and just making sure that the city had the right vibe for, for the contractors, you know, these guys, they want a close knit location that has, you know, a lot of fun party places. So that was, um, the initial challenge was finding the city and finding the right dates and times that worked, you know, making sure it was still during the off season. Um, and then the demos, the demo piece was huge. You know, we had to find a parking lot that was big enough to, to house all of these. And, and so now we'll have to do, you know, the demo schedule, making sure we have a paver and then a sweeper that that's going to be able to come in and pick up all of the, the wrap finds. And then while that's happening, you know, we'll have a, a preservation um, demonstration happening. So all the kind of moving pieces that that keep things moving and, and coordinating and nobody knows that, that, that anything's going on wrong, but, you know, 
magic's still happening. So <laughs> that that's the challenge, but it's all good stuff. Basically running a construction site is what you're trying to do while also entertaining people while also like educating Give them people. Beer and food and you know. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Right. Yeah. What do you think? Um, because I, you know, again, I'll speak from my own experience. I always wanted to go to shows, you know, but I if you if you've never been to one, you don't know what you don't know, right? So you, you wonder like, is it really worth it all the time to go out there? What would you say to somebody who's on the fence? Maybe in my industry, maybe striping specifically, because we're kind of like, you know, we're kind of off to the side a little bit, us stripers. We're not, you know, doing multi-billion dollar paving jobs, but what do you think the 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 value is for somebody who's listening? who's thinking about going to Payvex or even Ignite as a business owner, what would you say to them? I think that, you know, if you're not investing in your business, then you're not interested in growing it. And that's fine. Some people don't want to grow their business, but if you are interested in growing it, then I would look at the education specifically at Payvex because we have, you know, 101 and 201 courses for striping contractors. We have Jim Panzenhagen, who has been in the industry forever, who is teaching an introductory class. And then we have Mark Estrada, who is a newer contractor, who's going to bring a fresh perspective to the industry. He has a um, introductory class and then he has a master's class. And then we have um, Chad Young, who's actually going to take his class out to the demo parking lot and have a striper out there and who's going to show laser marking and and how to set up a laser for a striping machine. So it's not just classroom education that you're going to get at Payvex. You're also going to get, you know, that education outside of the classroom from contractors who who have been there, who have grown their striping business. So, you know, it's it's a really good investment in your business, in your people and and in the growth of your future. So I think that it's it's an invaluable decision to come to these events if if you're interested in growth. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I haven't been to Payvex obviously, but I couldn't agree more about the idea behind that. Like it's been everything for me. So um it's not too late for people to get t- tickets obviously for definitely for Payvex. No. no? Where do you want people to find out more information? Where can they find tickets, pricing, all that good stuff? Yes. So you can still register as a business owner for the Ignite Construction Summit at igniteconstructionsummit.com. And that event, again, is in Clearwater, Florida, December 6th through the 8th. And we will keep registration open for that event all the way through till we go live there in Clearwater. And then Payvex is in San Antonio, January 30th through February 1st. And again, you can go to payvexshow.com to find some more information. And registration rates are all there. You can get an all-access pass, which will get you any education program you want, um, all the demos, all the networking, trade show floor for $10.95. So it's a really great deal to go to you know any of the education and the demos and we have a awesome after party, which you're not going to want to miss. So really good deal. And details on after party. What, 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 what do we got going on here? Jessica? <laughs> the after party is Thursday night at the Buckhorn Saloon. Um, it's very much Texas. It's a, a, a awesome bar and it's got um, the Texas Ranger Museum is in there and it's got a shooting range. It's got a, a whiskey bar, whiskey tasting. It's going to be a really fun event. We're excited for that one. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you for, thank <laughs> you for having it Texas during like, you know, colder months. Cause us Canadians, I don't know. We wouldn't be able to come if it were like, you know. <sighs> I'm with you. I'm in Wisconsin. I got, I got to be warm for at least a couple of weeks. No doubt. Okay. I can't thank you enough. Like we're going to put all the notes for where people can find out um, the event, the tickets, all that stuff will be in here. Um, I know you've kind of been, you've, you've kind of been on like the podcast tour. I know you've done quite a few interviews and I'm sure you're going to be asked more as we get closer to the event. So I'm not going to keep you too much longer um, for anyone who wants to know any information about it. The links will be in the description. Please go check it out. Yeah. You could, yeah. You don't want to miss out on the first one, especially for, for Payvex. You don't want to miss that. It's the you first do one. Not. You do not. It's going to be a lot of fun. This sounds incredible. So you hang in there. (laughs) It's going great. (laughs) Good. good. Yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Well, thank you for stopping by our show. Yeah. I'm I'm excited for people in the striping industry to know a little bit more about it. Um, You know, even just like setting up the Instagram for this podcast, a lot of people ask me some of these business type questions that if you want to grow your business, this is the best way to do it. I mean, I'd love to help and answer questions, but a show like Payvax is just incredible. So thank you 
on behalf of the industry. You're doing a good work, Jessica. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in person in Florida in December. It's going to be great. I cannot wait. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of the way, okay? Thanks, Kim. Awesome.